Right, so I like, I quite like card tricks, and I'm particularly fond of card tricks that have an element of maths to them, and like many do, in fact. And so I thought I'd show you a really nice, simple, self-working card trick that relies on some maths. And all you have to do is follow the rules and do, be able to do a simple bit of maths, and you can do this trick really easily by yourself. So take, start by taking a deck of cards, complete deck of cards, 52 cards, remove the jokers, give them a bit of a shuffle. Then remove any two cards you like from the deck. So it really doesn't matter when, where, any two cards. Now put those to the side up there. Now what you're going to do with the rest of the deck is you're going to turn the cards over and you're going to turn them over and where you see a pair of cards that add up to 10 or a card that it has a 10 value so in this case we're also saying that face cards are worth 10 so where you see a card that's worth 10 you turn over another card and you cover it cover it like that okay and you carry on doing that so in this case now we've got a ace and a nine so they add up to 10 so we put one on top of there one on top of there we've got a five and a five that add up to 10 so we've got a card on each of those. Now we haven't got any cards that add up, to, any two cards that add up to 10 there. So we'll start a new pile. Okay, uh, still nothing. So we go a three, no, an ace, no, still need cards add up to 10. Right, now we've got a seven and a three, they add up to 10. So we put two cards on there. And we've got a 10, so we put one on there, and we put one on the ace. We've got an ace and a nine, add up to 10. Okay, and you carry on doing this through the whole deck. Okay, we've got eight over there, just screw these up a bit. Right, we've got a ten there, we've got a king that goes there. We've got a we've got a lot of fours out, haven't we? We've got two, there we go. Right. Now remember to always make sure you do your, your pairs. If you forget to do the pairs, then it all goes wrong. So we run through the whole deck like this. There's a five, five, a king, a king, a ace and a nine, a six, and four, a queen, a king, a, uh, there we go, a jack, We've got a six and a four. Right, now I'm run out of cards. Now what we do is we remove any cards where the top card has a value of 10, like that. And we pair up, make remove any cards, any piles where the pairs add up to 10. So we've got a seven and a three, so there you go as well. Yeah, what else can we do? We've got a six and a four, so we get rid of them. We've got a three and a seven, so we get rid of those. We've got a um got those two six and a four it's up to ten and we've got a eight and a two so we're left now with one pile now you might be left at the end of this with either one pile two piles or no piles right if you get no piles then these two cards are have a value of 10 they're a 10 or a face card yeah um or they could be two fives actually so we'll watch out for that but they're probably two face cards if you've got no piles left if you've got one pile then the, then what you've got here is one face card so or a card worth 10 and the pair to this so the pair to this will be an ace because a nine and an ace add up to 10. Yeah, so in this case, one of these cards is a face card and one of them is an ace. There we go, okay? If you'd, add, if you'd had, say, two piles, if you'd ended up with something like this, then the cards that would be left, these two cards over here, would have been a two, because a two and an eight add up to 10, as an ace, because an ace and a nine add up to 10. And of course, this works because every card in the pot in the deck either is worth either 10 i.e. a face card or it has a pair that allows it to add up to 10 so there's two 
and an eight, that adds up to a 10. And uh, I don't know, let's find something else. The seven, seven and a three, they have to add up to 10 as well. Which means that once you've gone through that whole process, any cards that are left, yeah, for example, if you get left with those two pile cards, piles, then their pairs would be the two that you removed at the beginning, so either they'd be a six and an eight. Right, so there we go. Really nice, simple, self-working card trick. Um, have a go and uh, enjoy.